so this is part two and this is going to consist of let me just get on coder this is going to consist of building your own personalized home menu so first of all as you can see I'm moving my mouse around and there's this big warning sign it says that mouse is not supported and you can disable it in the settings but you can click on the mouse itself so for anyone who does really want mouse support it doesn't work the best but it does work for clicking as you can see so what I'd say for anyone who does want mouse support is change the image of the warning sign to um, just a standard mouse pointer PNG and you're fine you've got your normal mouse sign back I'm going to go ahead and use the keyboard because I don't need the mouse for anything so to customize the main menu I'm going to go into settings we're going to go to skin settings and we're going to go to customize home menu this will bring up this little menu here and as you can see we can see all of the menu items that we've seen on the home screen what I tend to do is just go ahead and delete everything using highlighting the little X on the left hand side and keeping just settings and power so it's kind of like a fresh start so to add a new menu item you're going to press the plus button this will highlight a new um, menu item that is blank or says none to add something to here you want to select the very top option on the right hand side menu which is choose item for menu this will bring you this list so I'm going to add the favorites that I created in the first video for my NAS or the link to my NAS so I'm going to select movies I'm going to keep it named as movies and then I'm going to go ahead and add another one and I'm going to go and add the TV shows so I'm going to go to my favorites and I'm going to add TV shows so for me these will be at the very top so to move menus up and down you've got an up arrow and a down arrow highlighting these and selecting enter on them moves them all the way down to wherever it is you want it however many clicks you press that's how many items it moves down so next up I want to add a sports section so I'm going to press the plus again make sure that I'm highlighted on the blank menu item and I'm going to move over to the right and I'm going to choose item for menu so for me I only really use two add-ons for sports but one of them is going to be used for my live TV section so the add-on that I'm going to dedicate to the sports section is sports mania now as you can see these these sections or loads of sections from the very start of adding these have the little arrow pointing to the right that suggests that there is a further menu for you to go in to so I could select the create menu item to here and when I select that home menu of sports or sports mania from the home screen it will take me to the beginning of the add-on but if say for instance I only really wanted to watch NBA I could go ahead select that create menu item to here and that shortcut has been created to the NBA section of this add-on I'll just demonstrate that for you so as you can see um, shortcuts have appeared on the screen if I go ahead and select NBA that instantly takes me to the NBA section of that add-on now to get to the rest of the add-on I could press the backspace on there and go to the beginning of the add-on press it again press it again and we're back to the home menu so that's one personalized option that somebody could use you could set up two or three home menus for sports you could have football NBA um, NFL and golf or something so for me that's not what I want so if I wanted to replace this you just want to go ahead and highlight it again and you want to select choose menu item 
as you did at the beginning I'm going to select add-on I'm going to select a video add-on I'm going to go to sports mania and I'm going to select my shortcut to be at the beginning of the add-on so that's one option for customizing you could then for instance go to the sub menu selection of this and you could then for instance add all of the different categories for that add-on to sports mania in the sub menu so I'm going to go ahead and add NBA um, I'll add another one and this is just the same process as selecting the home menu guys exactly the same only this will count for this the sub menu I'm gonna go to NBA I'll go to NHL I'll add another one I will add the calendar so we can see what's on exactly on what day I will then exit out just to show you how these look so there's our sports mania and then selecting down to bring up the sports the sub menu and as you can see these are all the sections that I've just gone ahead and added as a, as a sub menu so that's one customization option that you could use the next step that you could use is obviously renaming and adding color to your home icons so for instance sports mania as you could see on the home screen was just a little bit long to fit in there perfectly it was scrolling so what i'm going to do and I'm going to rename that to sports I also would like that to be a brighter color of white so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add some brackets I'm going to add a little bit of basic basic HTML color code which basically all that consists of is that guys that is all you need to add a color I'm going to select done and can you see that's gone a little bit more of a brighter white than what you could see before you could also add different colors red green yellow blue I have covered a video on this um, last year and I'll link that down below for anyone who wants to look at that into detail but all my menu items are going to be this color for my movies, for the sub menu, as you can see, some are already there by default. I'm going to delete all them. And for me, I like to add my movie add ons to here. So, movie add on, let's go for Exodus. This is where it gets really customized, guys, or really personal to you. Because opening Exodus, as you can see, we've got a movies option which I'm obviously going to choose because that's the sub menu that I'm working on you could go ahead and add all of this stuff here that you would personally use so for me I'm going to keep it to this but you could add most popular I will add that anyway just to show you I'm going to create menu item to here and I'll add one more which will be we will add entertainment hub movies and we will create menu item to here that's got a little bit of code on it so we will change that but as you can see this has highlighted to a, a more readable color when highlighted and we will go to our movie sub menu and there's our Exodus most popular section as you can see it's loaded them movies up straight away from that part of the add-on and then we will go to entertainment movie set entertainment hub movie section and you've got that straight away 
so that covers adding your information or your add-on sorry for the home menu I'm not going to go ahead and show you how I add all of them because I've just used the exact same steps only personal to me I will go ahead and do it off camera and make sure that they're all in there so you can see how it looks as a finished product in the next video which will be the final step I'm going to show you how you add your wallpapers and how you go about customising your highlight colours and your sub-menu highlight colours I hope you've enjoyed this I hope I've not made this too complex um, I've described it as basic as I can and added as many customizations as I can so if you've enjoyed this stick around for part three and that'll be the final part to getting your skin done thanks for watching guys